about you guys, but when I was little, this was actually my favorite movie. My name is Alex, this is Whisper Moon. Let's talk about Xenon Girl of the 21st Century. So if you've never been to my channel before, I like doing lots of sewing and I try to make a whole bunch of witchy clothes, but I end up just making like really casual clothes that are comfortable in or clothes that are like too dressed up to actually be worn anywhere. I have a tendency to like really fancy in like dressy types of fabric, but my own style is just like at home and especially during this past year, I haven't been going anywhere to even wear something fancy. So I was thinking if I was to maybe take some inspiration from a really old movie that I watched as a kid, maybe I can get a couple ideas for something that's both unique and still casual because it's from a kid's movie but still like dress it up to adult standards if that makes sense. And I want to take a look at what if this film was made in the 2020s? How would the fashion sense change and could I get some ideas for my own sewing? What would they wear? Who is Xenon? What is this film? It's about this girl named Xenon. In the first film she's 13 and then as the series progresses, which this is a trilogy, she gradually gets older until like the last one where I think she's either 18 or 19, but it explores her life as she lives on a space station surrounding Earth. And this is an old movie. It was 1999's take on what would 2050 look like. And we're about halfway there. We're halfway from when this film was made to when this film was actually set. And it was cute. This film actually predicted like FaceTime like other people have probably said before, if you've seen the film yourself, they predated FaceTime and they had FaceTime themselves. So Xenon the blonde girl is the main character and she has some friends on their space station. In the first film, her best friend is Raven Simone, but as the series progresses, she gains a new friend because Raven was not on the second project, but she magically appears again in the third one. So that's just how they made the film. <laughs> but as you can see, it has a very Y2K fashion sense with spacey elements and futuristic themes as well. You see lots of materials like this vinyl and fake leather. You have animal prints, you have plastics, you have bright colors, especially from like the 90s you would see these type of color palettes. This is a different color palette than what would be for 2021. So I want to see if that can be like reinvented or changed a little bit. Like bring it like up to this modern day standard, but then still making maybe a bit more casual look than these plastic raincoat type things. <laughs> Cause I just don't think he would be wearing exact things like these. What I do want to look at is some of the more unique silhouettes or things that could be interpreted sort of like space theme and get some fun elements that would just be a bit out of the norm of trends today or even towards the trends today. See if we can find something that is achievable with what we have today. Now, that is to say, I'm not a fashion designer. I'm a sewist and I tend to just use sewing patterns that are these pre-drafted instructions and set of shapes that can be used to cut out fabric and I can just go through and make something quickly and not from scratch. That's all I'm trying to say there. What I was thinking is that if I could find some interesting sewing patterns that are unique, bring them around to our theme of Xenon. I think I could give some pretty good recommendations. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today. As I more quickly scroll through here, without further ado, let's look at some actual sewing patterns. <laughs> what would they wear? Sewing edition. And these are all in no particular order. They're just things that I found online and I'm sharing here, obviously. <laughs> okay, so I was looking for more of the unique sewing patterns and I figured like if they're made in different materials or appropriate materials to make it like more futuristic, even if the silhouettes look a bit outdated or not applicable, they actually can be. So I have right now this skirt on the left and it has this really cool like wrap feature in the front. And I was imagining that in like all the plasticky or metallic type of shapes. Wouldn't that look perfect? It has like the color blocked detail to it and it's a bit long. So maybe if you shorten up, it would look a bit 
trendier and I thought that would be really cool it's kind of like the mod theme which is kind of in style I mean it's been in style for a while so I think that would definitely be really cool to have that and then on the right I have more color blocked but it's like a bit interesting where it has some diagonal bits to it and I really like how this looks I think that if you made this on like some lounge wear type of materials that would look really cool and really interesting for something especially that would be like street style and that's to me at least futuristic in itself because it's not the traditional silhouette if you make that loungewear. And then I have some more color blocking right here. This skirt is really cute even with the denim. I think something like this in itself is with the same thought process. Like if you're in space you aren't really thinking about denim but like this is a futuristic earth type of look I would say. The colors that this sample was made up in is just stunning. <laughs> I think this is definitely something that I could be rocking in 2050, although I'd probably be like really old by then, but someone my age, if they were time traveled to then, definitely could be rocking, I think. Anyone from 2050 out there, would you actually wear a skirt like that? <laughs> Please even see my video in 2050 is a thing. Comment down below if you're from 2050 and you're just watching this video. Is YouTube even still around? Oh, and what I said again with like loungewear, look at this hoodie. Like the back of it is so cool and having the hood in general, I, maybe I'm just obsessed with loungewear, but this is definitely really cool. You can really play up the colors with this. And if you even wanted to like draw back to the color palette from back then, you could get like some neon colors and then like that muted bright colors. I don't really know how to explain like the, but those muted pastels that they had back then, I think that definitely could like maybe be something. Maybe you see it, maybe you don't, but I definitely see this. And I was picking these patterns from everywhere, so probably a lot of these patterns aren't in English. Like I think these are all in German, but look at this cool chevron detail on these sweatshirts. And especially like this top on the right, the uh, Frau Anna, like look at that cool sleeve. That definitely, some of the outfits that Xenon and her friends wore, they have like these cool capped sleeves type of thing, which makes it look a bit more spacey. I don't know what that would be described as, but it definitely has that look and feel to it. And the stripes over on the pink shirt that's there, it has kind of like that captain feel of the spaceship. Like you're a captain of the spaceship or you're in uniform with Star Trek or something like that. Definitely playing up like stripes and different shapes is definitely in the style. And again, you have this cowl neck hoodie, which is functional and still stylish at the same time, which I think is part of this fashion as well. You want it to be utilitarian, but still just has a little bit of style to it. <laughs> and here we have again a skirt which has this really cool wrap but it is not like a true wrap skirt. It has like this little panel underneath and then one on top. You can play around with colors with this or you can do it all solid. That would definitely be like in the mod sort of trend as well. And you have some athletic wear here again. It has the really cool athleisure lines up here. I don't really know if the leggings, those are just kind of still functional, but especially this shirt, if you play around with some colors, it definitely looks like something one of the cast members could have worn on the show and I think it would definitely still be in style today or 2050. <laughs> I love this neckline when I saw this and especially this one on the left with the flowers. It seems like it's a a functional garment like the ones on the right have, but since they made it in this really pretty fabric, it definitely looks very stylish and it, d it reminded me definitely of the Y2K trend or what you would wear in the early 2000s. I'm not sure what about this screams early 2000s to me, but it definitely is still stylish today and I think we should bring back like this neckline. I don't know, is it like full zip? all the way. Okay, so I think there's two versions. There's one with a zip and one without, and the one without is what I like. I, I just like how it has this fabric where it's like not a true collar, but still has just like a little bit of extra fabric. I guess that's just what I'm feeling with this one. Oh, and I think this is like a, a Dutch pattern maybe, but look at that metallic on the sample. That, you don't have to change anything. That just looks really comfortable, but still like really futuristic at the same time. I love that. And same with this collar, you're like
bringing some vintage elements with this checkered, but it's still like really cool. And I guess just the classical element to it, it just makes it seem like maybe you're going space vintage. Isn't that a thing? Like just you're on a train in space. <laughs> I guess that's just uh, really weird, but I mean, I gotta think these things. <laughs> It's what I love to fantasize about is like what would a journey through space look like? Maybe this is just the Doctor Who fan in me. And these lines are so cool. What if you did this like all in pastels? Just like regular old pastel, get some greens and some pink. That would be like a really cool dress to it. Ooh, maybe even some light blue too, like in the sleeves. Yes. <laughs> and I love the extended line on this jacket and the colors in it in general is so cute. This looks like like, especially with the felt that they have, I think this is like polar please, something like that. But that is so cool. It's very utilitarian, like I said, but still something very like chic and modern. And I think that would carry on to a classic look for whenever. Look at this color blocking. I have like a lot of these from this uh, brand. I love the color block. I could see this in a solid if you want it to just be like a classic dress, but how they have the color blocking there, it definitely gives it the futuristic look because you have the waistline defined right there and it has both the 60s look, which is what people usually do for space theme. Cause I mean, that's like when what the Jetsons came out the 60s, 70s type, I don't know, but kind of like bringing that from that time to 1999 to then 2021, it still all works. Again, with this dress, it has the pockets. This is more of this one character that was more like the earth girl. And she had like this preppy style, which is still really futuristic. I love how it's the fake pockets, although I'm sure you could put real pockets in there too. But having that without a actual waistline to it, but instead these, I don't even how you would call those sleeve seams to it but I love that it's both the front and back I was just like really cool in my mind and man look at this color detail right there I actually I think I might want to get this shirt soon because that is really cool and I'm always looking out for cool cutouts like that it's especially with the trends that are happening this year and right now we have the cutouts going on and I mean I, I don't know when this shirt was actually from but the cutouts definitely are a trend even for now but especially for the future it might still stick around too don't they say there's something like a 30 year rule so if we make Make some trends this year then I mean what it will be popular again in 2050 as well I love how the samples from this brand they have the color blocking look at that is that not perfect for this look too especially since jumpsuits have been really popular to not only sew but wear for the past couple years that would be the perfect workwear not only for now but later see I'm trying to polish this up to be like more adult fashion maybe that's just cuz I fit into that I, I can't really pull off kid fashion but this is definitely in the right category and here we have some casual wear that is still really cool I think this is really awesome how they have the pockets here they look like tags maybe that's just also because I like sewing and I like these cute little hints to it but it definitely is really fun and if you're trying to play up like not plastic but still interesting and quirky details having price tags on the shirt they're actually maybe Gets. Go for it. In this top left picture, there's some cropped versions as well and sleeveless. And I'm always looking for interesting loungewear, if not to make it myself, to have the idea always in the back of my mind. This would be really cool for something really trendy. I don't know if it would be good for me or not with what my style is, but definitely for someone else, if you want something trendy, having something color blocked like this in your sewing arsenal or fashion inspiration is definitely cool. Like if you're watching this video and you don't sew, I'm hoping that this is still like interesting to see the type of trends that I'm trying to get inspired by. <laughs> and if you look at this sweatshirt that's down here, I love how the hood is just like running to the bottom of the garment. It like makes it look really cool 
how it's cut like that. I love how the pouch uh, with the pockets looks. I'm not sure why I love this so much. It, I guess since it's like hidden, but it's just so cute. Like what if you get some fun, bright colors in there? That would be awesome. And I know people love the cold shoulder. So I got found some, I found this one with ruffles to it. And it definitely looks like something casual. It's still really stylish. And something like this is just classical. Like you could wear it no matter what the year. But since it has the cold shoulder, the detail just makes it look very modern to me, which I think would be something that could work in the future too. And with these shorts, it's definitely this A-line or wide leg look to the shorts. For some reason that just looks futuristic to me. I guess since it uh, kind of, it has, I would say a 70s type look to it, 60s, 70s. I guess that fact alone makes me put it in this category because you should have kind of the simpler pieces in your wardrobe as well as like the fancy color walked or style lines to it. So that's why I'm including these in here. <laughs> but not only that, it's bringing simple items like this really cute sundress, but then making it better by adding lines like these triangles that are in the front of the bodice. Because it has this cool triangles to it, you don't have any darts in the front because those triangles act as the darts for you, which definitely give it an upgraded look and make it seem so much more slick and elegant and definitely seems a lot more efficient than how regular darts are today, or at least that's my opinion and my opinion is not very good, but this dress looks so cute. so that should count for something. We have again a cute little mini skirt and this one looks like a wrap but look at this green that they have with the gold buttons. Need I say more? <laughs> and again with this cool bodice look that you don't have to have darts in it again because it has all these cool shapes to it with the bodice. It is made out of these really interesting colors to it which those blues and gray look stunning on the model and I'm sure that would look stunning on a whole bunch of other people too. This is our future space look that we need. Look at that back. <laughs> Tell me you aren't glad that you watched this video if only to see this top right there. Don't you need this top in your wardrobe? If you don't know how to sew, does this top make you want to sew? If you already do know how to sew, don't you think you should get this pattern? I still need to actually buy this pattern, but I'm definitely getting it. Isn't the name cute too? Chevy, Chevy. I need this shirt in my life. And same with this shirt. Look at the back to it. It has a heart. I mean, I know last year I made a Pinterest video where I look at some more witchy fashion, but if I was to completely abandon that fashion and make myself either of these, I wouldn't be mad. I know I said we could look for other materials that weren't like plastic or vinyl or leather, but I mean the sample was made up in leather and it has the cool like stripes to it, which is the direct prompt. So I'm glad they made it in this material because man, look how cute that looks on her. And the fact that you can make this in a dress too, and you can make that out of different materials as well. Like what if you made that out of Ponte? That would be like so casual, but still like you could wear it to a nice restaurant and you would look really chic and modern. Need I say futuristic as well. This like exactly matches that skirt in the beginning where it had the denim. But look how she did in the back, how you have a panel. Like what if you get something like really glittery or shiny and you put that in the back panel? That would just look so unique to me. And since it already has the color blocking of the denim, that would be such a cool staple piece to have. And if not, this is just a really cool jean jacket pattern in general. So always going to be in style. And you could make this even not out of denim, but what if you used a cool fabric, like something that has some cool metallic threads in it or has a pattern or you like make a pattern with like paint or 
dye and you just do something really cool. And we have again two more patterns on this page. The one on the left, it has that interesting horizontal line at the top, which I think is really cool. And the shapes that it makes in general, it looks like it's a high low, which is very casual, but still put together loungewear, which would be perfect for any like casual occasion nowadays, or if you just want to wear this at home or out and about, it definitely has that futuristic feel to it, which would be a great addition to any wardrobe, I think. And this one on the right, I chose since it's a bit more long-waisted to it. I kind of like that look to it. It's different than a normal sweatshirt that would just like hit at the hip since it's a bit longer. It just looks like it would be in that Y2K early 2000s type of look. And I just love that about this pattern. And again, we have this look that reminds me again of the early 2000s. I think especially, it also has that like that 90s windbreaker look I think too come back in style. I think that's why I was originally mean to say it definitely, it looks like a windbreaker and how the waistband and the arm with the elastic in it and the fact that this is a jacket that hits you at the side of the neck with a zipper. This to me is just a little bit out of the norm where it, it definitely brings that futuristic or couture, vogue, avant-garde. I don't know. It just looks like something you, that you would see on a runway, but if you're actually able to bring this to your wardrobe it would be a hit and perfect for any occasion it would be cool like if they had like a hood option to the jacket too I think but since it is it looks like a bit of more of a mini jacket maybe without is good as well but that zipper is my favorite part I think <laughs> and what did I say about the utilitarian look we need to bring this forward because this is our cyberpunk idol jacket right here look at how awesome this gal looks with the kind of like spotted fabric that she's wearing and the line art details itself. I love how these pockets are. I don't really know what this detail it has, but if these are like the covers to the pocket, that's drafted so cool. And this a pattern I chose for the sleeve options it has, it's kind of hard to see with the ones that are here, but if you can look at the line art, it has this interesting gathered detail to it, which I think could be really cool to sew or yeah, I, I picked this because it looked really cool to sew just to have something a little bit different from the sleeves. I know, especially online with Instagram, if you're wanting to make something that you can wear every day, you want it to be just a little bit tad more special. And these sleeves, I don't know if it's gathers or if it's like little tucks or something, but that just looked really cool to sew. And I thought that this would be really cool since to me something modern or futuristic it just has something to make it a little bit upgraded from basic and this is exactly what that is a little bit upgraded from basic which makes it stylish in my eyes and this jacket again with these color block details i love when something is diagonal or not completely straight i don't know it's just the diagonal it looks better to me and then this is with a cowl neck as well so it's something that's different from regular hoodies it, it just looks like more utilitarian to me which makes it this aesthetic in my mind and since it has like all these lines to it and i think there are even some thumb holes holes drafted into this design and I've never like had anything with thumb holes in it but that just automatically gives it a plus in my mind. Does anyone else like think that too because like I've never had thumb holes before but I really want some so if I was to make this jacket why not? <laughs> this fabric I think is perfect for this jacket in general having it where it's something solid or dark around the rest of it but since it just has this bright pop of color like what if you change the dark blue that it has to like a black but then you put like maybe a red or orange or something like that with the stripes or like your favorite color is like maybe a purple that would be really cool oh and then there's even um views for what t-shirt and a long sleeve shirt oh and like the oh the one on the bottom it even has like a drawstring so that's like a sweatshirt too i don't know what the sleeves are for the short sleeve of it I mean, but considering that this this pattern has three versions to it, that's that's cool. 
Did the other one have three versions too? No, it only had two. Both of them are really cute. Okay, and we have here again, the long waisted hoodie, but this one, it has these pockets, which seem like they would include a lot of room in there or something where even if it's drafted with only like half the room that's like shown, like if it only ended there, I'm sure you could like extend that to the hemline. I don't know, but like with this collar to it, I think the collar is included in here. Kind of like all those details. That seems like it would be a great addition. Where are these things in the store when you need them? I've only seen like patterns for this before. Am I at the end? So I guess that was actually the last one. I tried to do this kind of rapidly because I knew I had a lot of patterns in here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun putting together this presentation and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as well or sitting here with me and looking at these adorable patterns. But I wanna actually try to do this again with some other TV shows and movies. Comment down below if you have any ideas or any like styles or aesthetics that you want me to go through as well and I will try to do those. I have an idea for one more and then I think I might want to incorporate this in a video where I actually make something from a pattern. I'll have that planned and I'll see when I actually get around to this because I've had this PowerPoint sitting on my computer for like a month or two now and I still haven't gotten to it until today when I want to post this next week. So you're seeing this very quickly after I'm filming it. <laughs> I had to get this done. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I love exploring aesthetics like this and different styles. And please subscribe if you want to learn how to sew or if you already know how to sew, that's what we do here. I'll see you guys next week. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Bye. <laughs>